All right, son, let's get to the last portion of this Andy Minio Happy Thoughts EP. It came out a couple of days ago, and I just haven't listened, so that way I can do the first listen on camera. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third, y'all guys third family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see at the end of the video, consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner. Yo, for the people that might be new here, I appreciate your subscription and well, welcome, welcome to the family. Or for the people that weren't around for the Jackson Pollock video, or even back as far as almost a year ago when Andy hit me up originally, if you don't know, this cover right here features everybody that might have had any hand into the release and into the concept and the Japanese theme around this entire album. Anyone who had any hand in it is on the cover of this album as like a little Japanese emoji, Japanese cartoon character. And if you don't know, Andy hit me in the DMs, was like, yo, I want you to react to what now is Jackson Pollock and the video that is Jackson Pollock. I want you to react to it because we're going to put you and other reactors like in the corner, like like and like on Japanese TV, reacting to what's happening on screen. I was like, bet I'm, I'm down. But we had no idea, or at least I had no idea that he was going to put everybody that collabed and was a part of the release on the cover. And your boy right here is no different. I'm on this cover, second row, one, two, three, four five down the one with the white hat backwards yo crazy crazy that i even like one would have the opportunity to do this but two ended up on the cover by surprise and if you don't know if you just subscribe we actually already reacted to five of these seven tracks when they were released in single form once again jackson pollock i reacted to it way back before it was even released so that one's out there willie i've done always in a rush i've done fire at fire video for always in a rush but that's really all that i gotta say it's kind of a long-winded intro because i just want to give my praise and I wanted to give my thanks to Andy and to just like just the fact that I was even considered to be a part of such a dope ass release like that that's fire but yeah, anyway yo follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earn it's just like the channel the links are down in the description below and we got mama taught me off a of happy thoughts by Andy Minio let's get it <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the field, gotta tie my laces Me and my wife on a last name basis When I get home, I'm on the bases <laughs> Yo, yo, <laughs> that was a bar too right there He said when I get home, I'm gonna run the bases Like I'm gonna hit a home run But literally you get home as you run the bases in baseball Crazy The bar about the about his wife on a last name basis Like flipping that flipping that phrase Like yo, like like me right now Like I would say, yo, me and Andy, we on a first name basis Like, like we got it like that, we tight now especially after this project we're best buds me him me him and lebron but it's even more fire that he said me and my wife are on a last name basis bro like we are so connected like that that i was willing to give her my last name not only that she was willing to accept my last name that's a crazy bar but the way that but the way the beat dropped right there yo i was not expecting that at all especially for like the name of the song mama taught me i thought it was gonna be more like a vibe of always in a rush like something a little slower something a little more introspective but nah came in heavy all right let's go back Yeah, I'm in the field, gotta tie my laces Me and my wife on a last name basis When I get home, I'ma run the bases Yeah, now I'm all tired like Mavis No shame, nah. baby, you know I'm shameless Now I'm all tired like Mavis Like T-I-R-E-D, but tired, like the tire shop Bar And then that little sample in there, that little as it like ramps up that that like adds like that it adds that interesting note to the higher end to like balance out the heaviness of of the bass and the lower side crazy run the bases. Right here. yeah now i'm all tied like mavis no shame baby Woo. you know i'm shameless thank god that i'm in his good graces and he never took a loss like vegas what a batman would have been baneless Hey, what if Batman would have been baneless? And he said, thank God, thank God that I'm in his good graces. Like the phrase, like, thank God, but also literally thanking God for keeping me in his good graces, for, 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 for basically forgiving me for my human ways and my human error. But he said, what if we never took a loss like Vegas? Like literally Las Vegas City, like the, the gambling and like they, the, the, the casinos never lose. That's the phrase. I'm always surprised when I hear people that say that they're going to go and win big in Vegas. Like I got, I got this, I got the strategy all worked out. I always think, and I always say it out loud, like, do you see the strip? 
Do you see this three miles of just like straight billion dollar properties? You think that was built off of people going there and winning? If you go to Las Vegas and you break even for your four or five day stay, you are extremely, extremely fortunate. You might, that, that's a win basically. But he said, what if Batman would have been baneless? Like, like what if there wasn't that, what if there wasn't that opposite side to like test my will and test who I am? Like how would I ever grow if I didn't have that, if I didn't have that opposition, you know? It's Fireline. Baneless. Never really thought about it like that. Guess the story isn't good unless you got a little bad. Not a league up in the stand. That's why the Amazon had like that. Yeah. See, sometimes like see, sometimes it's a little good to have a little bad. Like you never thought about it like that. Like like Bane, yes, he's he is that he is the villain, but at the same time, someone like him is necessary. Agent Smith is necessary for Neo to survive in the Matrix. That's why in order to get rid of Agent Smith, you had to get rid of Neo. Spoiler alert, probably should have said that before I said that, but the movie is also like 20 years old. Figure it out, go watch it. But if you don't figure it out by the halfway through the second movie when we're talking to the architect and how everything is how everything is equal and opposite on both sides of the math equation, you realize you can't get rid of ultimate evil without sacrificing ultimate good. It's just it's just math. Not a league of business, then that's why the Amazon I had like that. Yeah, seeking you find uh -huh. don't happen overnight. Yeah, needed some time. time. With the OGs, I don't see them around. Yeah, yeah. Where the father's at, blind leading the blind. I'm talking Ooh. wobble wobble, talking shake it shake it. Yeah, drop it drop it, yeah. talk it take it take it. Hey. When you grow up on that, tell me what you're gonna think about women every time they walk past. It's what it is. I mean, he's talking that real, bro. That that sample, that sample is it's crazy. It hits every time. But he's speaking that real, like it's the blindly in the blind. When you grow up on Wobble Wobble, Shake It, Shake It, like that track and other tracks like that, like what do you expect to grow up and think about women when that's all that you're thinking about in the music and when that's all that you're seeing in the videos and on TV? And we haven't gotten to it yet, but I assume that's going to be part of the reason why the song is called Mama Taught Me because the father figure wasn't around, so Mama Taught Me, you know? Think about women every time they walk past. It's what it is. Woo! Sample, crazy. It is what it is. And then they cut it out. Hey, my mama told me this. Hey, yeah. See, I knew it was gonna come. My mama taught me this. I knew that that was coming. My mama and the father, like literally, like God and and G, like the father. That little that oh that was hard, yo. That was hard. But that little bum diggy, dum ba dum ba dum diggy in the background, crazy. Yeah, Ooh. I know I'm a hoe when I'm in New York. Holla ass suit, gotta get scoop. Hey, down on one six two, got the Holy Ghost with me. I can never be spooked. Me and my ah. and got the Holy Ghost with me. I can never be spooked. Like the wordplay, ghost and spooky, but the Holy Ghost, like there's nothing to fear whenever I got God on my side type of vibe. And I didn't get the whole gotta get the scoop. I'm assuming that's some type of like New York, like very regional reference as in terms of like, I gotta get the scoop, like like what's the word on the street? But also, I don't know if it's like an ice cream, like it's an ice cream shop, like somewhere where he's from in New York. So I gotta get the scoop. I don't know if that's me reading into it too far or what, but knowing Andy, there's some type of wordplay right there that I just don't get because it's too regional. Down on one, six, two, got the Holy Ghost with me. I can never be spooked, me and my, me and my. And Mary, Ooh. yeah, coffee and Italian cookies. Talking how I was a bad kid, I need a whoopers. Shot the trauma in the teachers because they always push me. Thought I'd be in jail, a bookie, not a car to book me. Uh, now I'm right. Yo, he says, shout out to the trauma and the teachers because they always push me, dog. That's a bar. Like, shout out to the teachers for, like, for pushing me and making me who I am. Like, I grew up in... You know, New York, there's so many different things that can go like a like a kid can get negatively influenced. But shout out to the teachers, but shout out to the trauma that I had in life. Cause that trauma is what pushed me to, to get out of that life, to be better, to be better than the situation that I came from. Crazy bar. And he said, I thought I'd either be in jail or a bookie, but now they call to book me, like, yo, we want you to play here. We want you to do this this show here. Thought I'd be in jail or bookie, now they call to book me. <gasps> now I'm writing hooks instead of playing hooky. Yeah. Okay, I'm hey. off that. Hey, then when they got no aim, they just saw chat. Only thing you ever held down was the shit button, cause it's all cap. cap. <laughs> Come on, 
Only thing you ever had held down was the shift button because it's all cap, like capital letters when you hold shift. But literally like everything that you say is just, it's just a fib. Like stop lying, bro. Like why you always lie? And I like when he said, now I'm writing hooks instead of playing hooky. Okay, I'm off that. Like that wordplay that he had. He had two bars of the same type of wordplay. He's like, all right, all right, that's getting corny now. And he said, I hate it when they got no aim. It's just all chat. Like I hate it when, I hate it when haters, they're hating from afar. They're not talking directly at me. Like they got, like they got got no aim they're not aiming their they're not aiming their criticisms toward me like it's all chat like over there but literally like aim like aol instant messenger back in the day when it's all aim it's all chat and then that to go with like like keyboard warrior the only thing you ever held down was shift because it's all cap but also like held down like the only thing you stay true to when they got no aim they just saw chat only thing you ever held down was the shift button because it's all cap come on me fall back don't you ever be the fella always asking where the bar's at They can tell you thirsty and that's why they never call back If you knew that you could have it, would you really want that? Got me on my dot Yo fire bro like don't be out here don't be out here being a cornball dog Don't be out here always asking Hey yo where the hoes at dog like no one want, no one wants to no one wants to hang out with that guy like just keep it cool just be chill you know it's always the dudes asking where the hoes at that don't pull any girls you know what I'm saying but you really want that Got me on my dot to feel off track. Woo. Now I got your back like a bra strap. I got people in my <laughs> life that I still have to call back. I guess when you busy winning, they still got some drawbacks. Duh. He said, now I got your back like a bra strap, son. <laughs> That's dope. I guess when you busy winning, it still got some drawbacks. Like I don't have enough time to, I don't have enough time to be messaging and talking to everybody because I'm trying, I'm out here trying to grind. So I'm sorry if I miss your phone call or I'm sorry I don't reach back at you right away. There's some drawbacks. You kind of lose touch with people. Busy winning, it still got some drawbacks. Oh, it is crazy. It is what it is. Live and let live. My mama told me this, ay, this, yeah. Ooh. My mama told me this, ay. Yeah, yeah. My mama told me this, this. Yo, son. Yo, that, that was a fire. The whole the whole EP is fire. I'm not expecting the last track to not be fire when it's all been quality the entire time. But honestly, the production of every single track has just hit. There has literally not been a single skip on this entire album of the songs that I've reacted to. We got one more. Like I said, I'm not expecting it to be a skip, especially with the quality that the rest of the album is. But yo, this right here, this album is nuts. But yo, that brings me to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. Long form breakdowns, analytical thoughts, opinions, all that kind of thing is how we do it around here. So if that's your thing, consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel. The links are down in the description below. Hit up the Discord, also linked in the description below. If you potentially want to be a donator or you want to see the channel go forward, you have that monetary capability and say, here's a couple of dollars a month. Check out the Patreon link down in the description below that's what makes the channel run that's what keeps me full time doing this so if you have that capability and it's something that you're interested in i would greatly appreciate it but that's all that i got for today ladies and gentlemen like i always say at the end of all of my videos go out there in the world love and care for one another love and care for each other and i'll catch everybody on the next video peace